The Defence Strategic Review out this week has talked about the immediate boost and hardening of bases in northern Australia. Let's get some uh, perspective from the industry on whether it can be delivered. Let's go live to Darwin. I'm joined by Ben Carter, he's Chief Executive of Master Builders Northern Territory. Ben, thanks so much for your time. When you hear about the aim and what needs to happen to our bases in, in the north, can it be achieved? Absolutely, Karen. But I think the first thing to say is that the DSR's uh, focus on forced posture in Northern Australia is great news for Northern Australia and, and the NT and Darwin in particular. It can really be transformational of the economy and the community across the North, but in particular in Darwin. So we're very supportive of, of the DSR recommendations about the North and forced posture in this region. Uh, in terms of where it can be delivered, this is a great opportunity for the government and for the Department of Defence to build on one of Defence's great unsung success stories, which are the recent procurement changes which have seen local businesses uh, being able to tender and work on local projects in their local communities. Mm. Uh, and this has really supercharged the local industry up here and local economy. It's been a huge success for Defence. They've been able to access local capability and capacity it's seen uh, local businesses in terms of construction contractors rise from the, sorry, the proportion of local business involvement go from 30 to 70 per cent over the last few years. Uh, so that is one of, okay. that is the foundation for the delivery of, of these objectives. The government's talking about immediate developments and, and upgrades at those facilities. I know that the sector, and I've spoken to your colleagues around the country who are saying, that it's the labour shortages are hitting construction in a big way. Is is that showing up in in Northern Australia as well? And how can that be how can that be circumvented to get this done? Well, labour shortages are, are a factor everywhere. That's true. Um, we are focused, as with the NT government, is focused on looking overseas for for migrant workers um, from markets that that uh, yield the right skills, such as the Philippines and India as well as in Europe. Um, we've been running overseas recruitment expos to do that with the support of the NT government and they are, they are proving successful. One of the things that needs to happen though is for the detail of the DSI recommendations to be made uh, clear to industry and to the community and obviously the government as soon as possible because that allows for people to, to, to recruit and to plan uh, their businesses. We have thousands of businesses up here who have geared up to do defence work, um, but they can't be put in limbo too long because that then drains their capacity and they have to look elsewhere. So one of the oh. issues is there is capacity up here, um, but we need the detail. Yep, fair enough. Ben Carter, Chief Executive of Master Builders Northern Territory. Appreciate it. Talk to you soon.